What item under $50 drastically improved your life? A rubber bristle broom. I have two dogs and two cats, and my house is all hardwood and tile. A regular broom just sends the fur floating everywhere, but my rubber broom keeps it all nice and tidy and easy to pick up. It works on my area rug and upholstered furniture, too. I didn't know they made those, I have an Alaskan Malamute so I may have to try that out. A wake up light alarm clock. The light turns on gradually and wakes you up gradually rather than waking up to obnoxious beeping. Makes the start of my day more positive. What kind do you have? I've been wanting one of these for ages. Generally, any of the Philips ones are popular, but the good ones can be costly. Their most fully featured one is about $200 and constantly goes out of stock. It has great features like alarm scheduling for different days, lifesaver for college students whose classes start at different times depending on the day, and basic sleep tracking. They also have lower end versions that don't quite have the same feature set but do the same functions. Here are the recommendations from the wire cutter, a pretty trustworthy source, NewYorkTimes.com. We bought our Philips one over seven years ago. It was more than $50, around $100, but so worth it. We don't even use the wall up feature anymore. We use the sunset feature when we go to bed. After years of using the sunset and sunrise alarm features, my husband wakes up naturally around 6 a.m. now and then I wake up when he gets up. It's amazing and totally worth $100. In my uni house of four long-haired girls, we had a sieve type thing that went over the plug hole which still let water through but caught all the hair to stop it from clogging the drain. Yeah, that definitely cost a lot less than a plumber or us losing our deposit Ada thank you for the drain snake recommendations. However and unfortunately, I can guarantee that having one of these would result in me being chased around the house by my roommate brandishing a foot-long plastic tentacle with two months worth of hair, period blood and bath bomb lumped onto the end of it, and I would not like to experience that. Tub shroom saved my shitty apartment drain a while back. A million upvotes for tub shroom. A heated blanket, don't know how I ever survived winters before this. Same. Saves putting the heating on for the whole house when all you want is for your bed not to be ice cold in the evening. My bedroom is in the attic and it gets cold. Due to how stuff is wired the heating in my room only goes on when it's cold downstairs, but since it doesn't get that cold downstairs my heating never starts up. This has saved me so much cold nights curled up in a ball at night trying to warm up, it's amazing. My bedroom is surrounded by three outside walls, perhaps I should invest in a heated blanket. Maybe you should invest in a fourth wall, added bonus of protection from the elements. Earplugs. They saved my final exams in high school when my sister and her 1.5 and 3 yo kids tornadoed through the whole house. I play some music super low on my earbuds and then wear my shooting ear protection over them. I can't hear shit and it instantly focused. Saved me every time I took an exam last semester at my noisy parents' house. Man I know we've been going through this pandemic together and all but it's still surreal for me to read about people taking exams at home. It's the worst. Professor last term gave 25 questions in 20 minutes the kicker, though, was no going back and forth between questions, you see a question once and have to answer so no time to do easy questions first or skip and come back to it later. This was one of my professors too. The worst kind of final for sure. This one mechanical pencil that I bought in high school or earlier. I'll graduate college soon which means I've been writing with the same pencil for somewhat 10 years. It fits perfectly between my fingers. I've kept a traditional diary since I was a kid and it has become more and more important since hardly anything requires paper and a pencil today. So many memories from the happiest moments to the absolute worst have been written down using this pencil. I have a few other pencils as well but they don't feel right and eventually I'll put them away and return to my old friend. What's the brand? I want to buy one. Ballograph Rondo Classic. I just googled it and found an online shop. You should definitely buy one. A cheap microwave and coffee maker for my work van. I have an inverter for my tools that I use to run them. Hot coffee and hot lunches make a huge difference, especially on bad days. A microwave in the winter is a game changer. Have one in my work truck and it makes the whole day better to have a warm lunch when you've been freezing outside all day. Hot water bottle. I live in cold Scandinavia and have chronic pain. 
it gets used pretty much all year around. I recently backed a Kickstarter campaign for the heat bag. It's made by the guys that also made the ostrich pillow. It has a clay core you can boil or put in the microwave. When heated, you can put it into a kind of pillow. Thick, soft and insulated on one side and silky on the other side. It feels amazing and keeps the heat longer because of the insulation. This thing is amazing. I gifted it to my girlfriend for Christmas and she loves it. Edit, it was $50 on Kickstarter only. Now it's being retailed for $60. 11-pound capacity digital kitchen scale. For baking, cooking and correctly identifying portion sizes. It has changed the way I bake. No more trying to make the measuring cup level, or worrying about the compactness of my flour. I even buy the large block of butter instead of the more expensive 12 cup sticks because I can just weigh it out. Just put the mixing bowl on the scale and tear after each ingredient edit for the butter, yes, ours have marking too. But the wrapper isn't always aligned to the edge of the stick and on the big blocks it can be hard to cut vertically to get an accurate amount. Is it a US thing to not have a scale? I've never been to a household without a scale, European here. We don't measure kitchen ingredients like that in the US so know a lot of households don't have kitchen scales. It is so uncommon actually that when I had one in my kitchen, friends who were visiting thought it was for measuring weed. It's multipurpose. About 20 years ago I bought a 3 VHS tape set that showed me this guy, Sepp Holzer, doing pond and gardens and raising animals in a way far better than I imagined. It has been the core of my life ever since. Sepp is great. Check out Edible Acres on YouTube. I've learned so many of my gardening growing techniques from him. I describe it as lazy and ecological. Shower chair. I've got a ducked up back and I initially got it for that but even if my back was fine I'd still have one, they're so useful. If you shave your legs, you won't regret it. Let us all remember one of the greatest posts in history. A butter dish butter tray. Room temp butter always available. No more ducking with trying to spread hard butter out of the fridge. I got a ceramic one shaped like an ear of corn and put googly eyes on it. It's my favorite kitchen accessory because it makes me smile every time I see it. Edit, googly eye corn shaped butter dish tax. A rice cooker and electric kettle. I used to sometimes eat rice and drink tea. I now eat rice and drink tea all the time. In England, you'd be seen as a weirdo if you didn't have an electric kettle lol. Ha ah, this comment really baffled me as a Brit. But, everyone has a kettle as standard, it's like having a fridge. Australia too. We stole the idea from you guys. Prob stole the kettle too. My apartment has like zero counter space, in reality only a total of 5 feet spread through 3 areas next to the sink and stove. I spent like $15 on a 4 foot table. That now holds all my kitchen stuff like toaster, distiller, crock pot, and instant pot. It has just enough room for all that. Edit, thanks for the awards. Since it is a common question, the distiller is for purifying water. It boils water then collects the steam and condenses it back to water in a pot on the side. It is the exact same process as how to make stronger alcohol, but this is a higher temperature so it leaves behind solids that I clean out once a week. I like pure water and I get all my minerals from my foods. I enjoy cooking so I choose menu items that get all my minerals. I'm a big fan of baking racks for making use of kitchen space. Silk pillowcase I often go to bed with wet hair and when I wake up it's smooth and bouncy. Also less breakage and less fallout in the shower and on my brush. Birth control pills always know and when I'll be getting my period and it's shorter and lighter with less cramps. Practically free and has vastly improved my life. Front clipping dog harness, for my dog, eliminated pulling and is comfortable for the pup, makes our walks relaxed and pleasant. Blackout curtains. 3 meter long charging cable. I got a 10 feet USB extension cable to a friend who was recovering from surgery at a hospital. He told me that was the best present he ever got, his words in my life. I've spent months hospitalized before, and while there are many outlets behind the bed and around the room, they're all just barely out of reach of your average 3 feet cable that comes with your phone. Being in the hospital is really, really boring. You'll be surprised how quickly you can kill your phone's battery. Then you have to ask a nurse to plug it in for you and twiddle your thumbs for two hours while it charges over on a table out of reach. If you're lucky you can time it right so you start charging right when you get some morphine and can take a dope nap. A long cable is amazing. 
Yeah when I purchased the cable, I thought it was a little thing, something that would be better than flowers or candy. He called me a nerd, he's old, and I love him, and told me this was the most thoughtful gift he ever got. It was an USB extension cable so he could use it for his iPhone, and his Samsung tablet, and he liked to read books. That's really smart that way he can charge his phone, his tablet and his checks notes books.